All right, in this video, I wanted to go ahead and open some Topps uh, Chrome Sapphire Edition 2021 update. They dropped on Target. They're a buck fifty for these boxes. Kind of steep. Don't know anything about baseball for myself, 100% honesty. Uh, but I figured it'd be fun to rip. And then I do have some of these Chrome Update Series hangers that I saw from Target. They were 25 bucks a pop. I thought they were 15, but they were 25. Then I, as a just a random little bonus, I figured I'd throw in one of those little mystery boxes. So that's what we're going to be working with in this video. Hopefully you guys like baseball because I don't really, I don't really know much about baseball. I'm going to be honest. And um, I don't have like a favorite team. So for me, this, there's no stake in the game. I don't PC any, anybody, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and, uh, give this one a box, this box a try. Cause you know, they came out and I figured I'd, I'd open one for you guys. Uh, so if you are an expert and you guys have some stuff to lend in the comment section, feel free to do it. Two factory sealed packs, one mystery card. Can we get something big? <laughs> These are so trash usually. But I bought this from uh, I bought this from Walgreens, I think, for we got tops and opening day 17. Whoa, that's weird. Uh, yeah, I got these for I think ten dollars or something like that. Draft picks. Troy Stokes and a Pulsar. That looks actually like a real card. Very weird, but this is a card that we got that it came with something like this. These things are super cheap and hilarious. I would probably stay away from these, but uh, I'll go ahead and do the uh, the tops right here. This is, a, again, 2022, so this is a new set. And this is opening day from 17, so maybe there's something to look out for there. I honestly don't know uh, rookies and stuff like that from that series, but... Here's a couple of the cards here, Braves, there's an Emmanuel, and let's see, Martin Tooney, rookie, and Carlos, and then we have a parallel back here, Home Run Challenge, um, Tatis, and these are kind of interesting, you can do these scratch-offs, and then uh, a Luis Robert. Uh, which they don't actually guarantee a parallel, I don't think, in those packs, at least from what I've seen. That was kind of entertaining. Um, and then the opening day, let's open this one up from 17. Looks like they have some stuff here that you can actually get. So for those wondering, um, those are the odds. Opening day, one of, one, like one of ones, it looks like. Some pretty crazy stuff in there. Let's see what we get. Opening day. I mean, look at these cards. Looks like somebody stretched the image down here. They didn't know what they were doing. Wowzers, these are bad. Joey, this guy, and David Ortiz. That's kind of cool. Big name, David Ortiz. None of these are, are numbered, I don't think, and nothing fancy. I wouldn't know what to look for if there wasn't anything fancy. So if you saw anything good, drop a comment and help me out. But now that we got that little bonus out of the way, that was kind of entertaining. Uh, we'll go into these ones and then work our way into the sapphire. And I figured I'd just do this just to show you some of the other stuff. These are sitting everywhere though, Target.com if you're trying to buy them. They're only only $25, which is a ridiculous price. But they do have, this is an update series. They have autographs and one of one super factors in here, which obviously in big yellow letters makes me go, yeah, that's what I want. Uh, five packs. Whoa, there's five packs in here. Uh, and four cards per pack. Very interesting because it's chrome probably. And then here is the uh, stuff. Refractors, one in 116 each. So basically a lot of base is what you're gonna get. Uh, the odds are not in your favor, it looks like. Um, 3,000, and this one's a, a super refractor is 116,000. So you're telling me there's a chance. Let's go ahead and open the update. So this is basically a plastic box, but in a hanger box style. Kind of interesting. Uh, again, I'm not a baseball guy, so I apologize um, if uh, if I'm terrible at this. Just let me know. I already know actually, because I'm not I'm not an expert. Uh, I've ripped a lot of baseball actually. This last year, I had a bunch of Chrome and or not Chrome um, Bowman, but I didn't really know what I was doing, and so I never posted it in the videos. I just felt too insecure about it. There is a, a rookie in a um, there's another debut. And I don't know if these guys are good. Hopefully they're good. This guy has a pink parallel though, so it's kind of cool. Nice to see some color there, but rookies and colors. Um, let's see, I don't know if that's, 
I didn't look and see if there's pink in every pack or every box or what. It doesn't look like every pack. So, oh, look at that. What is that? Why does it feel special? It looks so special. Top's black gold. Gold sounds good, but doesn't. it's not numbered. So, it's not probably that good. Why would they use that? Why would they do that to me? They use the word gold. But, um, Alex... Kirilov. It's so like how I, I, like a third grade reading it is not available. It must be too good. The price is not available. So I'm assuming it's just too good of a product. Um, I want to kind of go through and scan all of these and just see if any of them. Oh, that one's not the right guy. All right, $1. So yeah, yeah, I kind of wanted to scan some of these and then come back to you guys at the end and let you know if I find any that, that's good. But look at how cool this one looks. What the heck, Tops? Why do you make it look so good? Make me feel like I got something. Um, moving on. So I'm really hunting parallels more so than players. And then if it's players that I recognize, it's icing. And fun fact, it's probably not going to be players I recognize because I just don't know too many of them. There is a Trevor Rogers um, ASG. That's kind of a cool card, but again, not numbered. And these dudes. So, obviously, um, Water Franco is like the big name for most of the stuff now, at least for Top 2022. I don't know if he's even in this, to be honest. I know I, he, was, he was in Bowman last year, and I got a couple uh, of him. But, um, yeah, I don't know. If these guys are good, leave, leave a comment, let me know. And there's Garrett over here. So, I, I should probably, like, uh, there's India. India, is that guy good? I should probably separate the rookies in the uh, parallels so I can do a recap at the end. I'll do a recap at the end anyway, just so we can look over rookies and parallels and then just see what we ended up with. And then there's Justin Williams here. There's um, that dude, that dude, and that dude sliding in. That's a nice shot. Anyway, yeah, that was uh, entertaining. And I got a couple hollows and parallels here that I'll throw to the side just because I want to research and see what those are. Rookies here. And oh, that, dang it, that was only one box. So you guys have to suffer through me doing that one more time before we get into the Sapphire. Sapphire will be a short, easy rip though, I imagine. But again, these are a look at the things. Chrome black gold was one in six. Yeah, so not fancy. Green, base. Where's the pink? I don't know. So one in six. So basically you're telling me <laughs> not special in the nice, easy way. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot, but we'll keep it rolling. Nothing to put up on the stands as I really don't know what I'd be putting up. So unless it's somebody that I really, really recognize. Oh, look at that. That's cool. There's a little die cut for us. Seen those before, and this is a rookie file, so I'll move them over here. So most of the time, these zones aren't really worth anything, but kind of cool. And then this guy and this guy. Oops, those two actually go on this pile. So, how's everybody doing? Baseball season. We got green. Is that good? Uh, this is so entertaining to rip, something that you, I'm literally not familiar with at all. My first time doing tops. Rookie debut. Look at this guy, though. He's getting it. Ryan Weathers to 75. We got a numbered card. Green refractor, if that's what it's called. Green. And this guy has a serious, serious arm as you can see he's going at it right there so i apologize my fingers are all dry right now it's kind of gross i know i'm really apologize but sometimes uh, my, my hands get really dry and i don't want to put lotion on right before i do this and have it touch the cards so it's like it's the worst of things but the best of things just like do you want me to put a bunch of lotion on and ruin the smudge the cards up i feel bad about that anyway there's a chaz we got another gold bang oh that's right one in six chance is not good. Uh, maybe he's a good player. You guys will have to tell me if any of these guys are above average. And I will research them in summary very, very quickly to see if I um, 
I'm mistaken, but baseball is a lot different than some some of the other sports out there. It seems like most of them, all the rookie cards. There's Jacob Degrom. I do recognize that name. I don't know if that's any good or not. Still, and then the Sh uh, Shane. I recognize that name too. But Degrom. Look at the centering. El Terrible. So, center stage. Tell me how bad this is. Let's check this out and see. Just for a, oh, I got that guy pretty quick. But look at that one. Degrom. Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis don't play. Yeah, it's not even the same guy. I can't do it. DeGrom, it was like a dollar. That's the thing. It's like, it looks kind of cool. feels kind of cool. It was like a dollar. And that's the thing I, I remember with um, Bowman is like, I got so many numbered cards. It was crazy. I've never got any product where I had as many numbered cards as I did. There's uh, Mount Castle. And then Casey Mize. And Andrew and that dude. But yeah, I got so many numbered cards. I didn't think, I thought that it, some of them were going to be worth big money, but when it came down to it, they really weren't big draws. So interesting to me because I was not really sure what I was doing. Anyway, 11 minutes in, and this is what you guys hopefully maybe came here to see. Sapphire Edition 2021 update um, and uh, autographs 101. Super Fractors. I didn't see an auto. I didn't see a Super Fractor. Supposedly, you get an auto in a box for these. I think I saw... I don't even know who, who was posting a video on these. Somebody, I saw somebody that posted a video on these and said that they get autos but in every box, but it's just not advertised as such. And you do get like a, a parallel as well or something. But here's what they have. Look at these ones. Pad Paradacha, one in 2,000. Super Fractors are uh, one in 5,000. So, uh, yeah, better odds than the, than the Topps Chrome update, I guess. But... I don't know. Everybody says this stuff is really um, decent product. And so, I mean, it looks like it's nice looking, like cracked ice. This fire. I always like that. But, uh, you know, we'll see, I guess, what we're working with here because I've never opened this. So there's a handful of packs two, four, six, eight, with the eight packs. And again, a buck fifty for one of these boxes. I got three of them. I'll probably get the other ones later just for fun. But again, I just need to research more and learn who is the chases because for me i don't know all the like the chases of a set mostly because it's a, a moving target obviously uh which is different so these look really nice first of all that blue cracked ice is super fire uh which is i can see why people like sapphire and then there are two rookies right here in the cracked ice very nice and we'll get into the next one hopefully we'll get a good auto like somebody like super good, like like super mega good. <laughs> like I don't know even. Um, there is a Cronenworth. That's actually good, right? He's a good player. I think he's a good player. He's a name I recognize. That's uh, I'll leave it at that. Um, actually, no, I want to check him. Gosh darn it! See, you guys, I'm second guessing myself like every second here. That's not McCaffrey. Holy heck, that's a Bowman. This is five dollars. Wrong card. Okay. Well, that was Mount Castle. That was not Mount Castle. Uh, so you see, the center stage app is pretty trashy. And I, of course, I could I could do it in better lighting. That would help a lot. Look, we got a green here. I'm gonna go right into it. Patrick Weagle. Look at that arm. And that is to 50. So another green cracked this time to 50. Uh, nice to see something. It's a little bit thick boy too. A little thicker stock. So we did get something in here. I don't know. Again, I, for some reason, pitchers are not the thing in uh, baseball. But QBs and football are. I don't know if anybody else finds that weird. But um, that's the wrong guy. Yeah. Patrick, there you go, $1.50 it says, I would actually believe it, so that's what I'm talking about, it's not, it's like high, um, it's low numbers, but like the dollars is not really always there for it, which is all good, but let's take a look, see what else we have, we need some, some people that can uh, swing some bats, there is a Ryan um, Mountcastle debut, Nice card there, I believe. I think this one is actually a good card. Is this one actually I was trying to find last time? Let's see. 
and it says eleven dollars. I would believe it. It probably is true. Um, I don't know, but I will sleeve him just because I do recognize the name. I pulled a lot of him in, um, I think tops or because I did a lot of tops from twenty twenty one, as well as um, cool, not Chrome, but um, Bowman. So I apologize. I'm losing it here. There you go. So I'll put him over here as well. Probably one of the better ones, but again, you guys make fun of me if I'm putting this back here and falsely advertising good players because I don't, I don't really know. But I'll tell you this much, though. Now that the seasons and stuff coming back and now that I've actually started ripping cards with the sport, like I'm more interested now than I've been in a long time, which I think is kind of the cool part about the hobby. It's like I can rip cards and not know anything and then become an avid learner of, you know, some of the people that, that I got the cards of and be kind of proud, more proud of it. Like, oh yeah, I got that, that guy, that Mount Castle guy. I got a, like a limited card of that guy or something, you know, like I can be more proud of it. So it gives me the opportunity to learn and, and stuff. So there's uh, Gregory and then Josh. And I don't know, I think some of these base cards with no rookies might be okay, but who knows. And two left, so we'll see if there's an auto or not. Oh, there's something in color here. Looked orange reversed, so that's the auto then. Okay, so we do have an auto. There is a rookie there. Andrew and Jake. And we do have, oh man, Trevor or Taylor Walls. I saw Rays and I, I was like, oh, is this going to be something good? Four of 25, that's dope. Um, and I'm touching this card like all over the place. This is an orange, um, parallel. Very nice. Like that. Hold on. Just trying to sleeve it real quick. Trying to be careful with it. But yeah, look at that. That is pretty fire. Taylor Walls. Four of 25. I like it. It looks cool, but is it worth more than a dollar? I'll buy that for a dollar. Let's see if it is. I have my doubts, but who knows? Two thousand dollars. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Nope. It's not gonna give it to me. Which means it's probably not working. Or I just don't know <laughs> how to use. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't know how to use my thing. So there's that. But I'll put him up up over here too, just because he's he's super low numbered, dude. These are the lowest numbers I've seen. So two numbered, green, blue, and orange. Blue is not or numbered, but um, but it's the only name that I recognize. I know if we get something good here, that would be uh, extremely welcome as well. But I got a couple good cards. It's nice to see them actually coming through with that. So here it is, rookie. And then, let's see the last one. Whoa, hey, -o. Joey. So that is the uh, the boxes. And I'm going to just recap some of the rookies and the cards here in just a second. All right, so just to summarize some of the stuff that we got in the video. And if you guys can let me know if any of these guys are any good, that would be super, super awesome. There's Alex uh, Vicia, Taylor Walls, and then Shane and Keegan Thomas. Tyler Steffens, Trevor Steffens, and Nick Saldin, Sandlin, I don't even know, Gregory Stantos, Luis Gonzalez, uh, Jans Gomez, Tyson Miller, and then we did get a Cronenworth, and I think this one's an okay one too, it's, it sold for like five or six or some dollars, Mountain Castle as well, both of those two are probably pretty good, and then Patrick, and then the Taylor Walls is the auto to 25 so it's kind of nice to get an auto a low number auto i don't know if you get it i don't think you get a low number one every time so nice to see something like that um even if it's not that big of a card i think it was actually i haven't seen a comp for that one i saw a blue one sell for i think 16 so i'm sure it'd probably be okay uh but uh but yeah kind of interesting and i know the rays obviously is going to be a team to watch this next year with franco and stuff but we did get this guy too ryan weathers and this was from the chrome update just the base to 75 kind of a nice card there and then a couple others here i like the inserts actually for for chrome um update they're not bad but they're just not worth a lot, a lot. 
and then you have the pink um, down here. So there's a couple pinks as well, but they're all uh, thrown a ball, which means they're probably not very good. Uh, that's not the ones you usually want. You want the guys swinging the bat. And the, like this guy is supposed to be okay too. I think it's worth a couple bucks. So did get some Chrome update uh, rookies as well. Nice cards again. And it's nice to see the official logos. It's one thing I made a mistake of buying select once and they can't show the logos. The cards are fun, but without the official logos, it makes it kind of less desirable across the board. I mean, to me and to others, obviously. So this is what we got here. And that's kind of it, but leave a comment. Let me know how I did on this box. And I might actually open the other two just for fun. Um, I know it's not likely I'm gonna hit something really crazy, but it's kind of fun to get a 20, uh, numbered to 25 card and then numbered to whatever this one was, 50. So well, those numbered cards get you, man, every time. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys.